<laughs> Grief. Uh, long cartoon. Um, it is May 5th, 2024, 9.50 p.m., episode 2485, and it was halfway through this cartoon that I noticed on Facebook that every cartoonist was tweeting that it's National Cartoonist Day, and I thought, yeah, you guys are tweeting it's National Cartoonist Day while I'm actually being a cartoonist, so I'm like the only guy, probably the only cartoonist who worked today. This is an idea I, I wrote out Friday, and uh, the rough of it is very basic. Oh, excuse me, God. And I just wasn't happy with the placement. wasn't too sure where to go with this. So as you see, I started this thing like three times, I think, and until I finally got it. Uh, at first, it was just a, a straight-ahead point of view, and I, I didn't like that at all. So I was like, we got to put some stuff in here. And as usual, I had no intention of making this into an Easter egg palooza, but then uh, it just did. And, and the last thing I do before is... I, I finish, or think I'm finished, it's just, I just keep thinking, is there something else to add? Something else, something. Well, I have I thought of. And then I tell myself, well, you can't add everything. You gotta save some stuff for the next one. Uh, you can't just repeat the same Easter eggs all the time, even though I do repeat a bunch of them. But you always gotta have something new, something different. So uh, I'm sure there's a bunch of things that I could have put in here that I didn't think of, and maybe next time I will. Uh, or ne maybe next time new things will come to me. How about that? Anyway, uh, Time Magazine has this article on Trump. Uh, they, they actually interviewed him, uh, which is amazing, not because, hey, yeah, we got to interview Donald Trump, is that, what's it amazing is that uh, he did an interview with an outlet that's not, uh, that's not what the, one of the ones that, that just refuses to challenge him with questions and shit like that, or, or follow-up questions. You ever see him get interviewed by Fox News and they ask him something and he, and he gives the answer, then they don't ask a follow-up and shit, they just let him get away with a whole bunch of bullshit. Um... So, but then again, it's time, and Trump thought, oh, I'll actually be on the cover, so let me go ahead and talk to him, and he talked to him for like over two days, and uh, some of the, all the stuff that he says, it's not just that it's like his plans, like, oh, I disagree with his economic plan, and shit like that, it, it's just, a lot of it is just fucking scary, like, they ended the, the interview telling him that a lot of people find his talk about being a dictator, even for one day or whatever, they find it, you know, just, that they're not they're scared of it. They're, it's scary talk. And then he says, no, I disagree with that. I said, I disagree that people find it scary. Uh, he says, I think a lot of people like that. And I, I guess a lot of people do like that. And, and that's scarier than Trump wanting to be a dictator because if a lot of people didn't like it, then he wouldn't be talking about it. Um, but he, he talks about using the National Guard to go after immigrants, but also sending the National Guard into cities, uh, you know, black urban areas to, 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 to fight crime. Never mind that crime's dropping in the cities, but you know, that's what he's promising to do. Um, he's, he says that, that he won't veto a national abortion ban because he won't have to, you know, because it'll be up to the states. But not if it's a national abortion ban, you stupid orange dumbass. And it just has a whole bunch of stuff like that. You know, he wants to round up 11 million immigrants and deport them. One of the people helping to put this plan together says a lot of people would need to be deported, but that person didn't specify if they would be that they had to be immigrants. It's just, that's. It's going to be bad if Donald Trump uh, wins, if he's replaced or, or put back into office. And shit. It's going to be extremely bad. Shout outs to DD West, Tito, Evil Mike, IMFJ1. Yes, yeah, six hours. He, that's what he wrote with the explanation. This one, too. And uh, Robert Cotino. Hopefully, tomorrow's won't have as many Easter eggs. I already have that idea written. And which I, I had that one written Friday as well, but I figured I needed to wait um, till Monday because it's actually on the same uh, issue as the CNN cartoon. Which I'm about to publish that one, and the CNN blog uh, video will be published. Uh, we'll do that one tomorrow morning, okay? Monday morning, uh, Sunday evening. Now, everybody, happy National Cartoonist Day, Inco de Mayo, and goodbye.